Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be teaching you how to undervolt your GPU. This is usually useful more on NVIDIA cards using this method. If you have an AMD GPU, follow the link in the description. There's another tutorial but using the AMD settings. Those are the ones that come with the drivers. That should give you a little easier time doing this. So let's get started. I'm using a GTX 1650 Super here, the one with two tiny fans and it's very noisy. You might be able to hear it right now. So yeah, first of all, what I like doing is launching The Witcher 3. It uses a lot of GPU and the power usage is pretty high, at least for what I read online. And I test all my undervolting on this game first. So what you want to do is to select 1080p, windowed mode, and max out everything. It, it can be another game, it doesn't need to be Witcher 3, but make sure that it uses your GPU to the full potential, 100%. So yeah, everything is here. And then just click on the Windows key on your keyboard and launch MSI Afterburner, which is this one. On this video, I'm going to think that you already did my previous tutorial, the one that gives you this overlay is very useful to have it here so if you don't know how to do this follow the link in the description and come back but yeah I set this up so yeah what you want to do here now is to go right into the game and wait wait like I don't know 10 minutes in a very demanding place for the GPU I've been here like 30 minutes just to test things out and usually a forest is a better idea so make sure to be in a place with 100% GPU usage and you'll see that your GPU temperature will climb and your GPU frequency, the core clock, which is listed at the right of the GPU usage, is moving a little bit. As you can see there is 1800 MHz, but when I started doing playing the game it was like 1900. This is due to GPU boost from NVIDIA as temperature rises the um, core clock will decrease in order to maintain good temperatures so yeah the lower the temperature the better will be the core clock will be so yeah just make sure that you get to a point where the gpu temperature doesn't change so it's stuck at 72c so we're going to click again on the windows key go down here and launch well i already opened it msi afterburner and as you can see now if i zoom in 1650 Super, latest drivers, and everything is on default. The fan speed is at 59%. So yeah, as you can see, this is it's just dropping to 1800 MHz. And as you can see, when I pause the game, it's at 100% GPU usage anyways, so it's still using the GPU. Perfect. So what you want to do now is to press Control, control F on your keyboard, so Control F, and this curve editor will launch. So what you see here on the left is the frequency, the core clock. At the moment it is 70, 1785 or 1800, it's just going up and down. And here at the bottom you can see the voltage in millivolts. So we go from 700 to 1250. And you can see very tiny here, there is a small line, uh, horizontal line. And it's going up and down so it's going from 1800 megahertz to 1785 and the voltage is 19 950 950 millivolts so that's how the card is doing in the worst case scenario so okay what do you do with this well you now know where are the limits of the card basically it stays usually at 950 at 1800 megahertz and what you usually want to do when you're under bolting is to keep the same frequency and lower the voltage in the best world. Well, in the best world, you want more frequency with lower voltages, but that requires more testing. You're going to try to see at 950, you have 1800 MHz. So we want to stay at 1800 MHz at the moment. We only want to lower temperatures in this case. So we're going to try, yeah, intervals of 50 just to start it's 50 is a lot maybe 25 25 is a better one so what you want to do now is drag one of these points to the frequency that you want in this case is 1800 and now you need to be patient what you need to do is to drag every of the points past this voltage to 1800 
So you grab this one and put it at 1800, all this as well. This will take a while, so be very patient. Luckily, I already did it. So I'm going to use that one. As you can see at 925, I saved this preset here. At 925, we got 1800 and we have a straight line. So once you do this, you save it, you click on save and press one to save the profile and you apply it. So after applying this, as you can see, now we have a straight line. We have 1800 megahertz, 1785. We drop like one degree. Instead of 73, we have 71, 72. So it's a small improvement. Now you want to maybe play the game a little bit, run some of the benchmarks, like there are some good benchmarks out there. I'll link some in the description. But yeah, you want to test it and see if it does, if it crashes, if you get frame time spikes anything like that and you have to keep trying so then if everything goes right instead of 925 you may want to try 900 so 25 millivolts less so you go up to 1800 you can use the arrows to go up and down pro tip so yeah you use this to go to 1800 1800 1800 okay so everything is right there. Now we're using 900 instead of 925. You apply. And now once you apply that, it stays at 1800, but you're using a lower voltage. So you're basically using less power, but telling the graphics card, okay, I'm using less power, but keep it at the same frequency. So again, do play a little bit of the game, see the frame times, if they've changed a lot, run some of the um, GPU intensive benchmarks, and then, if everything goes right, another 25, another 25, another 25 less. Until you get to the point that you get some, I don't know, some stutter, maybe some graphical glitches. Maybe that's too low. But yeah, just keep trying and see how the temperature lowers. We dropped two degrees doing this. Personally, what I, ha I was able to get was, in the best case, 800 millivolts. That's a very low. This, I didn't fully test it yet. But this will be the best case scenario. As you can see, we have 71 degrees Celsius. This is still at 900. But at 800, when I apply the settings, as you can see, now we're we are at 800 with 1800 megahertz of the frequency. We drop to 68 right away, 68 degrees Celsius. So this will be what I call a very good undervolt. We drop from the 72 degrees range to 67. Again, you need to test it uh, throughout many games, some of the benchmarks. Try to have the GPU maxed out. That's the best way to test an underboard like this. And as you can see in the graph there, it says at 1800 with 800 millivolts. So yeah, this will be a great underbolt. I have to keep testing it. But yeah, this will be a great one. We drop like seven degrees Celsius. But again, not everyone will get the same numbers. So I recommend you do what I said, try in intervals of 25, lower 25, 25, 25, and test it as much as you can. Some people are very lucky, or some people just want to <laughs> overclock and want to keep, I don't know if you reset this now, we have the stock settings again. We went straight away from 65 to 68, and it'll rise to 72, like before. But some people want to overclock doing this. So maybe you are stable at 925 and you want to do instead of 1800, 1900. You can do that. You can rise it to 1900 on all the points, apply the settings, and you have a higher frequency at the same voltage, 925, 950. In this case, if you just raise one, it won't be that perfect. But as you can see there, for me at least it worked. And here it says 925 at 1890 MHz. So there I made some overclocking. But I'm doing better than before. By default was at 1800 at this voltage and temperature. So yeah, you can play with this quite a bit if you have time and you want to test it. This one is my best case scenario so far with this card in particular. 1800 at 800 millivolts. And you also, if you want even lower temperatures, I don't care about the performance impact, 
you can just say lower this power limit maybe to 80 percent and you can see what voltage okay it's around 825 850 still, still higher than the underbolt we did but yeah if you didn't do any tweaking whatsoever and just lower the voltage like the card came from the factory 70 percent power limit that means 775 millivolts there the frequency drops to 1550 1560 megahertz so yeah you're losing performance there but you're gaining on the you're using less power so lower temperatures so that's what usually you want with an underbolt keep similar performance with um with lower temperatures and power usage so yeah this is another one i tried instead of 800 millivolts it was 850 so 850 with this straight line at 1800 and this one worked as well so yeah you have a lot of exploring that you can do i'll leave a link to all the um, benchmarks that you can run that stress the gpu quite a bit in the description but again make sure to go in intervals of 25 millivolts and once you're happy with the temperatures try a lot of games a lot of uh, benchmark tools all the good stuff. You only need MSI Afterburner to do this. You can do it on laptops, on NVIDIA GPUs, AMD GPUs. Usually on laptops is a bigger difference. I recommend you try it on a laptop if you have, I don't know, a 1050, a 1650. And after you get to the value that you like and it's stable, just save it. Click on save. Press on the one that you want, maybe four. And there it will be saved. And after everything goes right and you get the numbers that you want, you might want to press on this button, apply overclocking at system startup. That means that when you start the system, it will automatically put all the settings that you selected, which is the underbolt of your GPU. And if something goes wrong, make sure that this is, make sure that this is unchecked by default. Just keep it unchecked until you get all the values sorted out. But yeah, if something goes wrong, the game crashes, the PC does a blue screen, whatever, turn off the PC, turn it on again, and you have the default settings again so you can retry but yeah trial and error and all that <laughs> but yeah this takes quite a bit if you are testing it correctly those are the numbers that i got to by you know i don't know two three hours testing this out with different games and stuff so yeah thank you so much for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it and uh, yeah see you next time